In this demo, we will show how to connect an industrial device to ThingWorks using the NetBiter LC300 series. In this scenario, I have connected the NetBiter LC to a Modbus-based tank sensor which measures the levels in a fuel tank. The tank sensor is connected via a serial RS485 cable to the NetBiter. OK, so let's see how we can get the live Modbus data from the tank sensor over to ThingWorks. I log in to the NetBiter LC's internal web interface by typing in its IP address, in this case 10.10.13.72. I can now log into the NetBiter with the username and password I got in the product package from HMS. I start my setup by going into Setup. Very logical indeed. To have a look at the Modbus settings for the NetBiter gateway, I go to the Modbus tab. The NetBiter gateway will be the master for the tank sensor and all other devices connected to the gateway. So this is where I can make sure that the Modbus settings are the same for all connected devices. Transmission mode, slave response timeout, physical interface, board rate and so on. All these settings are ok for my tank sensor. So I can now go to the configuration tab. Here I go to templates, which is where I set up the data mapping between the tank sensor and the NetBiter. NetBiter has a wizard which makes it really easy to build device templates. Even more, there are ready-made device templates for hundreds of industrial devices available for free on netbiter.com. So I have downloaded the device template for my tank sensor and can now just browse my way to that and click Upload Template. So here I have a ready-made template with all Modbus values pre-mapped. I'll just go into Edit and go and have a look at the measurements and absolute distance, for example. This measures the distance between the tank sensor and the fuel surface. So all these mappings are already done in the template, saving me a great deal of work. OK, so now I want to add my tank sensor as a device connected to the NetBiter. I click Devices and Add Device. I'll call it Tank Sensor and click OK. So I now choose the template that we just imported, Ultrasonic Tank Sensor. And I also need to state the slave address, which in this case is 20. This is the default value for this particular tank sensor. Alright, I can now save my settings, and my tank sensor and NetBiter are connected. To visualize some values in the internal web pages of the NetBiter, I create a page under the Pages tab. I call this something imaginative and elaborate, like tank. Here I can add a picture, which I've created previously, which describes my setup with a tank, tank sensor, NetBiter and ThingWorks. So I save the settings and now insert the live values I want to show. I click Edit Parameters and firstly select the device, my tank sensor in this case, and can then choose parameters from the template I imported previously. Let's use Measurements and Tank Level. I can write another description for this parameter, but since Tank Level is a pretty good description, I'll just click the Copy button, which copies the parameter name down to the Description field. OK, I'll also add another parameter. Let's choose Measurement and Tank Level Percentage, showing me how much fuel is left in the tank. If I now choose Tank from the drop-down box up here, I can see live values for my tank. So we have now built a remote monitoring service where the tank sensor monitors the levels in the fuel tank. As long as I'm connected to the internal network, I can access fuel levels by going into the NetBiter LC's IP address. If I want to send data from my NetBiter to ThingWorks, there's a ready-made ThingWorks connection built into the NetBiter LC. With a few clicks of the mouse, I can create a so-called Thing in ThingWorks. I go to Configuration and the ThingWorks tab. Here I add parameters for the ThingWorks server I want to connect to. So I need to get the ThingWorks server settings like URL, port, resource and app key from my ThingWorks server administrator. After that, I can simply go down here to Add Thing. All the parameters for my tank sensor is available in the ready-made template I imported earlier. So if I create a thing called Tank, I can add properties from the template. 
let's make a property called Tank Level. Under Device, I can now see the tank sensor template I imported earlier. I can choose Measurements and Tank Level, for example. Tank Level will now be available as a live value in ThingWorks. And that's all we need to do to configure the connection to a ThingWorks server. If I would click Save Settings, the NetBiter will reboot and send data to the specified ThingWorks server. In ThingWorks, we would get an unbound thing called Tank that the ThingWorks admin now can import into ThingWorks Mashup.